Hey guys, it's Kelly. I am back with a video for the Tis the Season 12 Days of Holiday Scrapping videos. This is the brainchild of Audrey and I will link her in the description box below as well as the other participants. I just was uh, amazed, first of all, that Audrey is going to be doing 12 videos for all of you, you know, video makers, you know just how much hard work goes into these and to be doing 12 process videos in 12 days is just amazing. So Audrey, my hat's off to you and thank you so much for having me. So my number today is three and I will get into explaining what I chose for uh, the number in just a minute. The cut file that I am using is from Bay Valent, I think I'm saying her name right. I'm not sure if I'm not, I apologize. I uh, will also link to her cut file on her blog, it is free. I just really loved this tree and I thought that the few papers that I have from this collection would work well with it. The collection that I am using is by Kaiser Craft. It may be as old as 2009 or 2010. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure how I stumbled upon these papers. I don't have many. I think it was just three. You know, I don't know if maybe at a scrapbook store years ago, I just kind of liked the colors. Maybe they were on clearance. Maybe they were included as like a free gift for shopping at one of the scrapbook stores. I'm not sure, but I thought they were just really fun and whimsical and just, you know, I just thought that it would make a really cute tree. Um, I would never use these sides of the papers uh, as a whole sheet of paper just because they're a little bit too busy for me, but the colors are just perfect. So I'm not going to show you uh, me backing the entire cut file, but what I'm doing is I'm taking the largest chunks and cutting those out first, knowing that it's much easier to um, find smaller pieces of paper to fit in the smaller sections that are still uh, empty. So I'm just using my quick dry adhesive and just applying just a teeny tiny bit because I'm going to come back and show you that I stitched around all of the lines in gold thread. And here it is, and I just love the way that it turned out. So I'm shopping for backgrounds. I'm not sure what I want to put it on. And I liked this crepe paper, but I ended up choosing this fancy pants paper. And I just thought that the lighter color worked better overall and kept it bright. So here's the picture of me when I was three. That is how I'm incorporating the number three today. I thought it would be neat. Uh, my first thought was to do uh, three clusters of three different items or three different types of embellishments or, you know, my children when they were three. But then I realized that I don't really have any pictures scrapbooked of me this young. And so I'm trying to make a more conscious effort of including myself in my scrapbook albums. And I have started this uh you know, I challenge myself with this this year, and I am doing a better job, I will say this. You know, this is the first Christmas uh, layout that I have of me documented at all. So that was a, a nice little addition. I was very happy with the way that this turned out. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want my photo, whether or not I want to back it with a doily, I knew that I was just going to keep my title simple with Santa. I had pulled out these red thickers and thought that I would layer it on a couple of uh, labels just to add some interest. This gold sequin star is just beautiful. I have had this in uh, my stash. I believe it came from, well I know it came from Freckled Fawn. I believe it came from maybe one of their past Christmas kits. And I just, you know, I've had these and I knew that at some point it, the perfect opportunity would come to use it and it just really made the tree for me, I think. So I also pulled in a Pink Fresh Studio rubber 
charm piece and it says here comes Santa and I just thought that it would be a cute little um, embellishment underneath the Santa title. I don't want to over embellish this layout because the tree itself is quite busy and I you know for me my style I would probably say is a little bit more simplistic and um, I like to I don't know if simplistic is the word, but anyway, I like to be very thoughtful with my embellishments that I'm choosing and I like things to have a sense of purpose. And, you know, that is why I'm just trying to choose what I think balances and what complements rather than just to put it on my page to use it. So for me, trying to figure out where I want my photo and I settle pretty much in the middle of the tree because I knew that I wanted to put the title underneath it and then I'm gonna come in with the year. I'm not gonna actually put the number three on the layout, but for me, just knowing that, you know, three was used in how old I was when this picture was taken. So these two labels, one is from Freckled Fawn and the other is from Fancy Pants. And I'm just um, gonna layer those underneath the title and I go back and forth trying to figure out exactly where I want my title whether or not I want that rubber charm on top of the label or right underneath and I end up deciding to go right underneath the label I've tried a couple of different ways and just finally decide that it just looks best uh, to me when it is nestled right underneath. I will say that after the um, after I was finished with the layout, I uh, came back to the layout a couple of days later and I added a little bit of washi tape under this uh, Santa title. It is a gold polka dot and then I put the type put the uh, date down below and I sprinkled some gold Heidi shine. I felt like something was missing, but I couldn't quite figure out what. So those are the things that I did add after the camera was off. So what I thought that I wanted to do was place some white sequins as ornaments on the tree. Again, I was you know trying to keep in mind that I did not want to over embellish the layout and just trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. The sequins though will not end up staying. So I really wanted to use these gold number stickers from Webster's Pagers. Pagers. Ha! Huh, I can't talk. They're letter stickers from Webster's Pages and the gold matched the gold perfectly on the gold star from Freckled Fawn and I wanted to use them but they were an ombre effect and you know when you have a word that has letters that go back and forth with the ombre effect it looks pretty cool but it did not look great at all with just the numbers so I'm going to scratch that and I'm going to find a pale aqua number set that will work. So I was thrilled I don't know if you saw me shaking my hands um, I was like a little miniature clap when I added this little polka dot bow it has little red, turquoise, and green polka dots, and I am a bow lover, and so when that just fit right underneath that little freckled, that's not a freckled fawn, that's a pretty little studio flare. When it fit under there and it just nestled, that just, you know, those are the little things that make my day. How silly, but it just, it's true. It, I just loved it. And here is my sweet kitty, Juliet, but I booted her out of the way pretty quickly because I was on a roll. I wanted to get this layout done. So I am going to use my quick dry adhesive and get these uh, thickers stuck down. As uh, usual, they do not have much adhesive at all. And I don't like to find my letter stickers at the bottom of my page protector once I put them in my album. So again, I just want to thank Audrey for inviting me to play along with this series. I had a blast and I really enjoyed, uh, you know, the take on the numbers and I can't wait to see the rest of the videos in the series. I will link everyone down below in the description box so that you can check them out as well. 
So I do have some close-ups at the end, and I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And the close-ups will show, the very first close-up will show the addition of the washi tape and the gold mist. So thanks so much. You guys take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.